Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our devotion today right here at the R. Murchie Church of God. We're so thankful for this beautiful, beautiful week that God has blessed us with, and mercy for all the beautiful sunshine, because after all the rain, we're enjoying this beautiful day. You know, so many times in our life, we have a lot of rain. We interpret it by calling it trouble, and our soul becomes troubled. And the scripture declares that God is very near unto those that are in trouble, those that will humble themselves. Matter of fact, today, that's what our devotion is all about, just being troubled. You say, well, pastor, on a day like today, why would you come and bring a devotion about being troubled? Everything's beautiful outside. The sky's blue, the sun's shining, and thank the Lord we're in good health. Thank God for all of those things. But there may be someone listening today that in spite of how good the weather is, their heart is troubled, they're burdened, and they're heavy laden. The Word of God declares that this is going to pass because there are seasons and there are times for everything under the sun. So I want you to declare today, if you're one of those that I'm speaking to, or in the future, if you find yourself troubled in heart, troubled in body, troubled in mind, anxious in your spirit, that this too shall pass because there's times and seasons throughout everyone's life. So look for the good. But if you find yourself feeling alone and feeling shunned, feeling that no one wants to listen, I want to bring to you Psalms 20 and 1. For our devotion, and it says, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. Thank God today we learn from this brief passage a very important thing. And it's this, and I want to share this, that it's God who is answering us in time of trouble. There are times when we have been troubled that someone might feel as though they I need to shun that person or I need to sort of step side that person that's in trouble. I need to go around that person because I don't have the ability to help that person or I don't have the resources to help that person. That's why today I felt impressed by the Spirit of God to bring us some enlightenment through the power of the Holy Spirit of Psalm 20 and 1 because we're not talking about an individual. We're talking about God coming to us that find themselves in trouble. God coming to the one who has a troubled heart. God coming to the one who has a troubled soul. God coming to the one who has a troubled body or an anxious mind, a mind full of anxiety and troubled and tormented. Maybe you have found this week nights of of sleeplessness. In other words, you haven't been able to relax because of the trouble that you find yourself in. But we understand that God is the one who answers us. Who is God? I'm glad you asked because God is Jehovah Rapha. He's the Lord, our healer. He's Jehovah Adonai. He's the Lord master. He is El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one. Beloved, now this is God who answers us in time of trouble. God is Elohim. He's God. He's creator. He's the one with the answers. Hallelujah. He's Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. He's Jehovah Yahweh. He's Lord. He's Jehovah. He's God. He's Jehovah Shammah. He's the Lord who is there. We must know and understand today, beloved, that it's God who cares in all of his splendor. He's the one who heals. He's the master. He's the sufficient one. He's creator. He's the one who supplies, and he is God. Oh, hallelujah. The one who is right there with you. I said a moment ago that there are those that may shun you if you're in trouble. There are those who may step the other way to keep from being in your presence if you're in trouble. But that's not true about our God because our God is the one who never leaves us. He never forsakes us. 
He never abandons us. Matter of fact, he invites us to come to him when we're in trouble. The epistles of Peter puts it this way. In one of Peter's writings, he said, Cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. So I encourage you today in the name of the Lord, don't try to carry the load by yourself. Don't try to fix it all alone. Don't be ashamed to call upon God, for he is standing ready, willing, and able to come to your aid, to come to my aid, to assist us and to help us. Remember what Psalmist David said in Psalm 20 and 1? May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. Matter of fact, if I might, I would like to share two very personal verses of Scripture that I have found throughout my 41 years of ministry a great help. And they're found in Isaiah 50, verses 7 and 9. For the Lord will help me. Oh, hallelujah. You see, he says, for the Lord will help me. Therefore, I will not be disgraced, and neither will I be ashamed. Again, he says in verse 9 of Isaiah 50, Surely the Lord will help me. Say that out loud right there where you're at. The Lord will help me. Oh, hallelujah. In the midst of all of my trouble, in the midst of all of my anxiety, in the midst of everything that's going on, all the difficulties that are bigger than I am, God stands ready to help. All we've got to do today is to cast all of our cares upon him, for the word of God says he cares for you. Let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name of the Lord. I'm so thankful today for everyone that has joined us for our devotion and the others, dear Lord, that will be joining us maybe on their way home from work. I pray today that you would touch my brother and sister. I pray today that you would touch that one that's having a difficult time, that one that finds his or herself in trouble, knowing, dear Lord, that we can release that anxiety, we can release that, that burden, and we can seek the face of God. And Lord, as we acknowledge you in all of our ways, you're there to help, and you're there to give direction, and you're there to hear and answer prayer. So therefore, today, we take you at your word. We're calling upon you, Lord, and we're asking you to hear and answer prayers today. Lord, there are many people sick, many that are afflicted, many that are troubled in their mind, many that are facing great difficulties. But Lord, we cast them and give them all to you today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Rest in his love. And remember, Hit that little share button and let's bless a lot of people with this devotion. God bless. Keep looking up. The Lord's coming. Come join us Sunday morning at 11 o'clock right here at the Our Mercy Church of God. God bless you.